Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things will help us make more great videos for you. Okay, so this video is going to tell you how you can rearrange your home screen on your Fire TV stick, namely this bar here to get the apps that you want in there so that they're stuck there all of the time. Now, I know most of you know how to do this, but we are getting new members, new subscribers all the time, so I'm just going to show this as a refresher for you guys and for the newbies out there a way of doing it. So let's just have a look. So what we need to do is if we wanted to say put something up there, an app that we've already got installed up there, so it's permanently pinned to this bar here. Okay, what we need to do is press and hold the home button on the remote control until this appears, then let go. Go across to apps, highlight apps, middle button, okay, and then we get this here. So this bar at the top here, this bigger bar, this actually replicates the bar just here. So whatever we put in, in this bar up the top here, okay, will go into the bar just there. So say for instance, we wanted BBC Sounds to be up in that bar up at the top. So all we do is we highlight BBC Sounds, press the three horizontal lines on the Fire TV stick remote once, Press the middle button, OK, and then move it into the position we want it into. So we can move it wherever, any one of those slots up there. Once we've chosen a suitable slot, OK, press the middle button on the remote control to confirm and then press the home button just to confirm, there you go, that it's gone where we want it to. Now, if we wanted to remove something from here, OK, what we could do is we could do this the other way. Let's say if we wanted to remove Amazon Music, OK, go across to Amazon Music there. Press the three horizontal lines on the remote. Middle button, okay, that brings us up this bigger menu here, and then we can move that down and into another place, wherever we want to put it. Once we've chosen our place, middle button on the remote control, and there you go. If I press the home button on the remote control, as you can see, Amazon Music has now disappeared from that bar there. And we can keep doing this. We can, we can either press and hold the home button on the remote control until that appears, go across to apps, or we can go across to one of these here, press the three horizontal lines on the remote control and then middle button, and that brings us up here and we can just sort of move things around. So like I say, I've, I've moved the internet down, okay, but perhaps I wanted Sky News moved up. So again, press the three horizontal lines, press the middle button, and then start shifting it around. When I'm happy where it's gonna go, middle button on the remote, okay, and we can keep going. So if I wanted GB News there next to Sky News, I could do that, I could highlight it. Three horizontal lines, middle button, go up, put that there. Say, for instance, as well, I wanted, say, Talk Radio TV as well next to it. So, again, highlight Talk Radio TV, three horizontal lines, middle button, go up, middle button, when I found my place that I want it to put. So, it's, like I say, it's, it's that simple. So, if I want to get photos off of that menu, okay, horizontal lines, middle button, push it down to wherever I want it to go, middle button. Okay, and there you go. So, if I press the home button now, you'll see, there you go, all these have changed, apart from IMDB and App Store, which I've left in there. So there you go, a quick refresher for you guys and uh, a new guide f for any of the newbies out there. Hope this guide helps. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked this video, and if you did, hit that like button. If you think your friends, your family, or your work colleagues might like it, then don't forget to share this on your social media timelines. And if you haven't done so already, make sure you find out about all my latest videos the second they're released. Hit that subscribe button, then hit the bell, then hit all. You can also find me on Twitter at CWTech and also find my website at cwtech.co.uk. Liking, sharing and subscribing really helps support this channel. Thank you very much.